help with your Euro nymphing technique on the back cast. So you've got two hands. And in Euro nymphing, there's a lot of that high sticking. There's a lot of that because you're direct with the fly and you're really kind of, you know, not a lot of back and forth and false casting. I at least find that I forget that I got the second hand. And so I'm constantly, you know, not utilizing it with that technique. I have a video here from Scott McDonald talking about how he's using that second hand to get more control of his presentation. So check it out and see if it's something you can pick up a couple of tips from. Go ahead. Okay, so I'm going to use both hands to control my slack with this hand so I can keep everything tight. Does that make sense? Okay. So as I as I cast forward, I'm going to cast out, and I get my shutter where I want it, so I can use this hand to control that, that line so I keep it nice. There he is. So I can keep it nice and tight. So I keep the fish on the side. Really cool stuff. Scott McDonald is an expert, and he's an expert at that technique, that Euronymphine technique, and he's an expert of his in his area on the Kings River. Uh, he guides the Kings River in all sections. The Upper Kings uh, in the canyon section in the park area is closed but the middle and the lower sections are open all winter and so get a hold of us scott would be a great person to take you out there show you some spots as well as some techniques to help you kind of refine your craft uh, so let us know if that's something you want to do just get in contact with us and we'll put you in touch with scott just shoot us a call a text email and then we'll see you next time right here on the backcast.